everybody. Hi. We are the WWE Gays. Yes, I'm Jean Luc. I'm Nick. And, and we are at Food Days. Yeah, so this grocery week, haul. This week we decided to do a grocery haul and we're showing you a combination of our grocery shopping at Food Basics and at Fortino's. So right now we're at Food Basics. Yep. We've already started. We've already started. So at home. Some tomatoes yeah. and stuff like that. But we'll show you so guys yeah. what we bought what, yeah. at home. So for, Food Basics is one of our main stores. Like we said, we, we buy our wraps. We have certain staples that we yeah. buy here. And then we'll pick up like odds and ends if we need it. Yep. And so it's, it's fun to have you know different variety of different stores. And so we like certain things like our wraps here, our, mm -hmm. our pita chips. We our use pita, yeah. the pita we make our uh, chips with is yeah. from here because we know uh, it's We also points. often buy our um, clubhouse spices here because yes. they're usually on yes. sale on here. Sale. So we'll show you guys uh, our next store stop when we go to Fortino's, yep. and then we'll show you guys uh, our final grocery haul when we get home. See you later. Bye. Food Basics is done now, so you have our bags. We, yes, we don't buy bags. No, we don't buy bags anymore. We actually always try to bring them with us. We actually always bring them with us. Yeah. And if not, we wait till we get to the car and pack our groceries from the cart into the bags that we have in our vehicle. Yeah, so we're about to go in now, so we'll show you guys uh, a bit inside the store when we go in and then show you guys afterwards our grocery haul. See you so later. See you a bit. Grocery. We actually filmed a bunch of other videos. So while we were there, plus we went to one, two, three stores. Three stores. And so we're actually going to show you guys. Yeah. What we bought. Excellent. So we started off with our food basics, right? So we're going to start bulk off barn. actually bulk barn. Yes. Well, either or. Either we or, or. Yeah. So bulk barn was pretty simple today. Uh, we bought our popcorn because that's what we like. We like our popcorn there. What else did we buy at bulk barn? We bought oh. um, some quin some spaghettis from Gogo Quinoa. Gogo Quinoa. Which. Maybe well, something coming up. Something coming up. Yep. Yeah. Then we bought, I can't forget what the name of this was, but it was puffed quinoa and a puffed other things. Yeah, so it's a bunch of puffed. Um, and it's a cereal. It's, a cereal. it's supposed to be a cereal, or but try, we want to attend the recipe with this. Because it's really low in points. Exactly. So and we're going to something. We're trying, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. And, um, and I think that, that was what we bought from there. So then from there, so the reason we do food basics and ball farm together is because they're right beside each other. Yeah. And um, then again, we do buy our quinoa from there, but we still had quinoa at the yeah. house, so we didn't buy any today. Yeah, and so for Food Basics, um, so usually Food Basics is kind of our, our deals. We usually go there to see if there's any deals on certain vegetables and certain products that we know sometimes are on sale. Yeah, and now that I just thought about it, we didn't have any wraps. There was no wraps yeah. there, and that's where we normally buy our selection wraps, wraps, which we still had some, yeah, so some. we're good for this week, but we always liked having more in the house because yeah. they stay fresh so long. Like and they only had the spinach the last time we were at uh, yeah. a metro. We went yeah. Metro and they had spinach, so we wanted the other kinds and they didn't have any. So, so at, for, at Food Basics, bought ourselves corn on the cob. We've actually stopped uh, buying canned corn. Completely. We, we prefer buying the corn like this. It's more expensive. Yep. But we love the taste it's of fresh, fresh. corn. Yeah. It tastes better. Yeah. You will, unfortunately, in batches like this, the four packs get some corn in some weeks that are better than others. So it's a give or take. Um, yeah. It's a give or take. My mom's secret, we steam our corn, but my mom's secret was always putting a little bit of corn syrup in the water as you're boiling the corn to add a little bit of sweetness. It's not a neat, it's not a have to. We also bought our handy dandy cauliflower. This was 88 cents this week, so that's well, why that's we bought it. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. These were, I think, $1.88. Uh, yeah, $1.88. $1.88 so compared coupers. to $3 usually. Um, we bought ourselves some more pitas to make pitas. pita chips. So yep. you guys have seen that recipe. This is where we buy them. And really, things. these pitas are good just to cut up yeah. and eat as a snack. Yeah. Always remember, it's only four points for that entire exactly. thing. With the, dip, so, the yogurt dip. With the yogurt dip, yeah. Of course, some WW bread. Of course. If we want some grilled cheese, or yep. if we want a toast in the morning, or something like that. Then we bought our maple bacon. I bought three of them because they were on sale for $3.49. Yep. And this one, again, actually, it doesn't say. <gasps> it no longer says it's limited, limited edition. edition. It so they made it one. permanently. Yay! So, that's exciting. So that is totally exciting. We bought three of them because we on sale. a lot and you're on and sale. And they're usually three. 
five to six bucks yeah. and they were on sale for three. And I found myself some um, uh, a mixed mash of tom mini tomatoes. I like that because it adds There's different wraps. tastes for There's my wraps, for yeah. my lunch wraps. We also bought a bunch of tomatoes because we're going to be making a making, marinara sauce. Making some marinara sauce. You know our marinara sauce. Yep. The recipe's also on our website. And I'm not gonna, yep. And I'm not going to lie, I bought myself some chocolate. Yeah. It was four bars for five bucks, and I haven't calculated the points, but for it's for four squares, and what I normally do is I already break them up. I put them in a container, so that way they're ready to go when I want a piece of chocolate, and I'm pretty good at keeping control of just eating a few pieces within. A caveat on this grocery haul too, we haven't had groceries in our house for a while. We actually right. did it on purpose to try to eat as much food in our fridge as possible. So we actually bought a, a full massive grocery, grocery to show so you exactly, exactly what the most product. We did skip some stuff that we don't didn't need, but yes. this isn't generally what we buy almost every week. Yeah. So the next door. Yes, the next door Fortino's. is Fortino. You saw us there. Yep, we were there. We filmed a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, we filmed a lot of stuff in there we today. Did. A lot of the products you'll see today will be part of other videos that we filmed, so you'll see those coming up. So first thing we bought was some made good snacks. Yes. So we love these because they're really low in points. And portion controlled. Everything's yeah. wrapped so, individually. So we got some cookies. Yep, some cookies and some granola bars. Granola a bars. fruit one, a strawberry one. We both like this one. Nick likes this and one. Then and then I got a sweet, sweet and salty. salty one. We got some of that. Got ourselves some smooth cottage cheese. Because we use that in almost everything Because we use now. it in everything now, because it's only two points per half a cup. Exactly, much better than so, cream cheese. And as we were there, they were sampling vanilla flavored cottage cheese in individual packs. And I'll be honest, it was four points for one little serving when you can get it and maybe add some vanilla, vanilla zero uh, point um, syrups to yeah, it. And exactly. then make yourself a, a, a dessert that yeah. way. So we got some bananas, because we always have bananas yep. around. And then we got some, well, you remember the tomatoes we bought? Well, I'm gonna be making tomato sauce, so I like adding tomato paste to my tomato sauce. Yeah. Just make it a little thicker. So we got a few extra. And they were only 79 cents a can, so we got some from the basement. Our lovely dandy handy turkey pepperoni. Turkey pepperoni. Ooh, ooh. Ten, 10 pieces of pepperoni for one, one point. point. Pretty good. Our awesome Galani. lowest point mozzarella cheese we've so ever had before. The, 50, the 30 grams is actually two points instead of the three or four points that most other brands yes. are. So we love this cheese. We buy it all the time love now. It. Our favorite. So that's Galbani. So yep. for anybody wondering, so I've got to show them real close. Of course, of course. Some Bovril. So we've had a lot Chicken. of questions about this. This was one of our favorite things that we actually filmed yep. back in the day. And we buy these in all stores. These have, any store you go to in Canada, you can get these. Yes, they're in different sections. Sometimes they're with the spices, sometimes, sometimes they're with the, with the broth. So we yeah. found ours in our Fortinos. We've got a little visitor here. You're not supposed to be on the counter, buddy. Okay, okay. say hi. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, Kikos. Say hi, Kikos. Hi, Kikos. He's like, there's so much going on. So we also bought some cut peppers. I don't remember the names. I think this is Scotch bonnets. Yeah, those are Scotch bonnets. And there's some uh, some jalapenos, jalapenos and some. I uh, don't remember. What I don't remember. Oh, I'm also a cat here now. Yeah. So we tend to buy hot peppers because we use put those in our uh, marinara sauces. We also make a paste with it because we use it in stir fries. Yeah. So and we like the fresh hot peppers. We also bought ourselves two buns. Yes. And one's an onion bun and one's a cheese bun. Yeah. And this is how we buy our buns for burgers now. So if yeah. you want a hamburger, we only usually make one burger each. Yeah. We buy one individual piece of bread yeah. or a bun of some kind. And then that way we know we don't have Six, six buns. other buns waiting or, yeah, exactly. for us. That, that was one of our biggest issues. We would buy a, a, an eight pack of burger buns and then eat one. Or each. we'd eat all of them because we felt we had to finish, had to finish them. them. And now, so this is the way we do it now. Not yeah. only that, our buns are gourmet now because I have an onion bun, he has a cheese bun. Cheese bun. Yeah. So we actually feel like we're eating something we're not supposed to exactly. at the same time. We also and, got some NyQuil. Yep. Because we're still a little sick. Yep. And we bought some of this stuff here. I don't know where the other bottles are, but there's like three kinds of it. Doing another we'll I'll, I'll talk we'll about that when we find it. So I'll pass this to you. I have all three. So we bought some. Uh, so this is one of the brands of yogurts we use. We use uh, multiple brands. Our favorite is the PC brand. Yeah, Can't the, lie. Yeah, PC, uh, PC uh, Greek 0% Zero. fat free yogurt yeah. is the best one. It's the thickest that thickest. we love. And, it, and Kirkland. And the Kirkland is Costco. good too. Yeah, But the small Kirkland containers are smaller. Yes. These are the 900 and no, some. 750. Oh, 750. Then yeah. the PC ones are the biggest. They're yes, 950. 90, 908 or something like that. I thought it was 950. Something like that. Okay, we got two kitties playing with bags. So we bought three of them because we make a lot of stuff with yogurt. We have yogurt daily. So we bought three. And we love, this is our third favorite brand. So when we can't find any other brands, these are the ones we go to because we love the Oikos Triple, uh, triple Zero. I'm taking the bags away from the cats. Okay. Because, you know, they, they get into everything, those cats. 
Um, we also got some vitamins. So we've talked about this before. We'll probably be doing a video about this at some point. We take vitamins every day. Um, we find that it helps us with well, health. we've only been sick once, and that yeah. was just recently. And you guys know we took some time off. Exactly. We've only been sick once since then. Yeah. So we try to take vitamins just to help us boost our immune system. Don't get us wrong. We'll have little colds here and there, but yeah. nothing is as bad, bad as, as it was recently we had. Just had. So we, have, we bought vitamin C and zinc. So zinc is really good for your immune system. So if you want, except if you take it with food, because you can get yes, queasy. your stomach. My stomach get I get queasy when I take it. Yeah. Uh, Nick loves baby corn. He likes it in stir fries. He likes it um, when we're making any type of Asian type meal. So he bought some on the in the cob and he bought some already pre-cut up, which is really good. I like to do that stuff. Um, I buy myself a mix and then today I buy myself a beet slaw and this is what's going to be going into my lunches this week. It's beet slaw and it has a blend of broccoli, carrots, cabbage, golden beets, kale. So that's what I'm going to be eating my wraps this week and then I'll make my same dressing that I normally do. Um, we bought ourselves a pack of snow peas. These are the ones we usually buy because they always stay fresh. So that way if you don't open it right away and you leave it in the bag, it, it keeps in your fridge a little bit longer, I find at least. Um, bought ourselves some yellow beans as well because we love yellow beans for dinner. Green beans, in green beans are in a bag somewhere and I'll show you that. Uh, a head lettuce, so just some head lettuce. We bought ourselves, because um, we like grilled cheeses sometimes, and these are just, I think they're two points per slice. It's, it's one of our splurges. It's yeah, it's a splurge. It's a little bit, we'll have the WW bread, and then we'll have a piece of jalapeno sliced black diamond cheddar cheese. And it's actually a really good snack or a little lunch with a bowl of soup. You can make yourself a zero point soup with that. Our favorite cheese strings, of course. Um, we bought the... Um, Black diamond. The black diamond marble, and, marble mozzarella. and mozzarella cheese strings. I couldn't think of marble. I'm like, what are they called? The the yellow and white one. Uh, the marble and that. Don't we, mind me. I'm pulling everything out of the bags. So we also found some puff rice. This is you remember the puffed quinoa we tried for from Bulk Barn? Well, this is a puffed rice. So maybe you guys will have an idea of what we're trying to create here. Uh, but I'm not going any further than that. So these are only three points for. A full cup. This is three points for a full cup. So a full cup of this is a lot, but we're not sure the consistency. So um, stay tuned for a recipe, I guess. Ooh, these are my favorite. I usually buy them at Costco because they have a bigger package at Costco. But we we're trying to do a Fortino. But we're trying to do a Fortino's run. And not only that, I love these at Fortino because they're the spicy ones. They're the Pillars um, pepperettes, but they're turkey bites. And they're spicy. They're actually not super spicy, but they nice. Have, they have a nice little thing? bite. They're one point per pepperette. And, and just per so sausage. you guys know, there's some other stuff in there we haven't pointed. Sure, a cheese string for two points. Two points per, per cheese, cheese string. string. Yeah, so that's one thing that we use a lot. Um, of course, the Greek yogurt zero. These, I think we said, I think they're three or four I think points. Two, two or three points. Yeah, I think so, it's three points to be yeah, honest. With so you. these are higher in points, but we like them. We like the spicy cheese. Yeah. Cantaloupe. We have a funny picture with that, or you probably already saw. <laughs> So, um, or, or maybe just put it right here. And the green beans, so green and yellow beans. Yep. We bought our favorite apples, of course. Our favorite apples are the honey crisp. Yep. We don't like any other apples. We've come to We've figure tried. out. We've tried other apples and they're either too mushy. These are always crunchy and juicy. And you know what? And sweet. They're more expensive, they are, but you know what? If I'm gonna buy an apple that I'm not gonna wanna eat, what's the point of buying an apple that, that then? So we don't buy these all the time. We tend to try to buy them at Costco because they're cheaper at Costco. Well, you get more for yeah, your buck. Yeah, you get more buck. for your buck. Um, but we love, we love uh, honey crisp. Yeah. If, you, if you love an apple out there that rivals this one, yeah. let us know. If it's crunchy. We've tried so many. We tried uh, uh, Fuji, um, Lady Alice, Lady Alice, Pink Lady, Prince something Princess. Yeah, uh, we've tried Java, them, and some so of them are good. Yeah, but we always go back, go back to this to, one. Yeah. We bought more Havarti cheese. We like cheese. We don't buy bricks of cheese anymore, no. so we buy a variety of different sliced cheeses. Yep. So if we're making a wrap, a sandwich that we know we have extra points for, we have it readily available. Yeah, and these are even three points. Three points per slice. Per slice. Melt on a burger. Melt on a piece of chicken. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. So three points for a piece of chicken. I'll show you some vegetables all at the same time because uh, some spinach, some mushrooms and carrots, and, always some and cauliflower. a cauliflower. Because you know this is a staple of almost all recipes. Yeah, burgers. So we also bought some eggs, which is, you know, a dozen eggs. Everybody buys eggs, right? Yep. We splurged a little bit and bought ourselves a Quest Bar. It was four points for this, and it's a cinnamon flavor, like a cinnamon bun flavor. Nick liked a birthday cake one that we got from the low-carb grocery store. 
and we went through the quests, the bars at uh, Fortino's to see which ones were the lowest points. And what kind were those ones that you had found for the lowest points? It was Quest. Oh, was it? Oh, was it? Brand. Quest. Oh, it's the you, same brand. I didn't that's realize. why I told you to look at that one. I didn't realize it was the same brand. So this is an actual, Keikos thinks I'm playing with food. Yeah. Like, because he thinks I've got food in my hand. So anyways, it's only four points for this entire thing. We're going to split it, two points each. Give it a try, see what it tastes like. Uh, maybe do a little quick video on it and show you guys what it tastes like. That would be cute. So we also got some zucchini. Zucchini, because guess what I like to do with my zucchini? I like to slice it in the length and grill it on the barbecue. It's delicious. It's a great side and zero point. Grapes. Love our grapes. And we, another trick about grapes, freeze them, put them in the freezer. Use them as ice cubes in your drinks and the, or as candy. People yeah. like them frozen. Raspberries, strawberries, and a smell that they were on sale today. Mm -hmm. They smell amazing. They we smell bought two sweet. packages. We bought two packages. Because I think we're gonna have a big bowl of strawberries later. <laughs> yeah, they smell so good. So we have that. We also got some Weber uh, garlic rub. So this is the thing that we use. My honey garlic rub. It's your points, right? Uh, I think it is your yeah. one point per serving. But yeah, so we, we use this when we make some types of some and, chickens and stuff. And we don't use so, enough of it to actually make it Yeah, exactly. exactly. Like that's the way we look at our spices. And I'll be honest okay. with you, it's worked for us, is we don't always, certain things that we know we're putting a little bit in that might have a point, but if you're spreading it out within 12 breasts of chicken, how do you calculate that? I mean, the cat's really getting, Keiko's yeah, is Keiko's really is, rat. He's, I'm gonna move that We bought too. some laughing cow cheese. So for those who don't know, these are one point per, um, per two, per, per pie triangle. shape, per pie shape, yeah. per triangle. And we love this on crackers, on, on our pita chips. We even put it on, on lentil chips Plen as well. Plen yeah, so lentils. Lentils from uh, Enjoy Life. Well, they, yeah, they're in general. Yeah, Enjoy Life lentils. So we like those as well. We love these. They have different flavors of these as well. Yeah. We bought uh, garlic and parmesan today. Yeah. We also bought these new cookies. These are uh, Enjoy Life as well, since we were just talking about the plentils. These are um, a snickerdoodle, and they are six packages pack. for four points. We thought, why not? Give it a shot. Something different, something yeah. that we know we, like we have. We like to try new things. We like to see. try it. Yeah, just to see if we like it or not. Yep. And then we also got some PC Blue Menu yogurt bars. Only chocolate this week because we have enough of the other we kinds. We have the salted caramel. Yeah, so this is for Jean-Luc, of course. And we just did our favorite things and about this. sometimes so. I want a chocolate. Sometimes I'm craving chocolate and I don't want a piece of chocolate, but this is great because it's nice and cool. Yeah. So if you want to know more about this one, there's actually a video on our website about We just about posted it not that yeah. long ago. Yeah. And then, uh, again, we went with the Good Thins, the Good Thins crackers. These are the uh, garlic and spinach. I don't remember the pointage for it, but it's for 15 crackers. Yeah. But this is, again, something we you want to check it while I talk about the next product. Sure. So we actually got... We would sneak it. We would... Uh, we got ourselves a pack of hot dog buns. So we wanted hot dogs for lunch. It's actually lunch right now. We're actually starting to warm them up. So we're actually going to have hot dogs for lunch. This it was harder with hot dogs. You can't buy individual buns at our stores, but if you can, that's great. But we bought a full pack because we needed we needed it for the hot dogs. We have six hot dogs that are thawed, so we'll probably space them out throughout the week to eat them or have more today. That's not we bad. Might. It's three points per 15 crackers. So, so that's, that's actually that's pretty, good. pretty good. And then if you use a one laughing cow and they just divide it up, you've got a four point snack there. Yeah. So we also bought, we buy these a lot. So we bought Mio and Tang. So a lot of people don't like the artificial sweeteners and neat things like these, but we we, do. we need them. Um, we talk about it on our water video. We need to have these in order to help us with our water throughout the week. Um, we don't drink pop throughout the week. We drink water yeah. only. So we use these to help us get through our waters, especially when we get home from work. Because work is easy. Yeah. yeah. It's That's so easy. funny. At work, yeah. it doesn't matter. It's when we're sitting in front of the TV yeah. eating snacks. Yeah. And not only that, I think it's because we drink so much water during the day that at night we, need some, we want something different. Yeah. And just adding lemon to the water for us is is good, but not enough. Yeah. So we also bought ourselves a package of phyllo dough. Once again, trying some new recipes. So we thought phyllo dough is a very low point. Um, it's very low points. So from what I remember for one sheet, it's two points for one sheet. So a sheet is pretty big. Yeah. So if you can make a bunch of little like type snacks, um, you'll have to stay tuned for recipes with phyllo dough. Yeah, we're trying. This is something we're actually bought to try to do some new recipes. So. And then last but not least is what I tried to show you guys earlier is I find something called 
free and clear from, um, PC. from PC. And there's a berry flavored, there's a tangerine lime flavored, and then there's a golden peach. And it's zero points. Zero points. And there's sparkling water with flavor. So if this replaces, I mean, 99 cents per bottle, this isn't too bad. Yeah. Um, it would be a great treat during the week. That It's not pop, although it, yeah. tastes, it has that carbonation, which carbonated water is not bad for you. So this entire grocery, like all of it together from all three stores, is around four hundred dollars, which is a big grocery for us. Huge for us. It's not, not how much. We normally we buy this much stuff, but like we said, oh, sneezing, sneezing, cake sneezing goes. kitty. So like we, we have said, the door open. Like we said, we bought a lot of extra this week first because we want to show you guys what we normally eat throughout our, our normal diet and our, our normal meals that we have. Yeah, but I mean, again, we bought triples of stuff as yes, well, so yeah. you know. So and not fruits and vegetables are yeah, expensive. Yeah, expensive. Yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed our grocery haul from all three stores. So like you said, we went to Bonk Barn, Food Basics, Gesundheit, and, Gesundheit. and Fortino's. Um, we, we, we might do one of these again in the future when we buy other products from yeah. other stores, just to show you guys varieties from other stores. Um, you can find us on all social media using hashtag WWGaze. Check out our website, www.gaze.com. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below. And hopefully you enjoyed this grocery haul. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.